It's been a really quiet morning. It's uh, Tuesday morning at 4.20 a.m. I, uh, I um, had a slow one till about 10 o'clock and then it started happening. I connected a few times and then by about 12.30 the good times were done and I've been watching videos, YouTube videos on this phone here. This is one of my usual usual routes to get from zone 64 into zone 68. I had my coffee some time ago. I guess the time was oh just after midnight and I cleared from my last trip at 1238 now I cleared from another trip at 421, well it's 421 now, but it was 408 when I got sent on this other call. I don't know why I'm stopping here, this is like a, a, a trail, but I'm stopping because, you know, just in case there's something coming along there, but there isn't, so no worries. We're going past the tow truck yard, can you tell? A truck dealership, a car dealership with used trucks in front of it. And there's a couple things here. There's a Swiss Chalet and Tim Horton. There's, there's the Tim Horton where I go and get my coffee. And here we go. Back onto Douglas Street, which is pretty much deserted. Yeah, it's quiet, very quiet. More car dealerships. This is sort of like the car dealership part of town. And that's kind of where I hang out and wait for something to happen. Well, hopefully I'll get something between now and the end of my shift at six. Let's pull into this. Uh... Anybody want a yellow Mustang? go in through this convoluted little path here that goes down to the section where I like to park to read my book. I thought this would be interesting visually. Oh yeah. Well there's a nice spot to park right under the light here right under this bright light and then then that should be enough light I think I don't know how does that look do I look okay is there enough light on me I hope so anyway uh, yeah what a thrill this was what a ride Monday night Yippee. I'll talk to you sooner. Oh, good morning. It's 3.15 a.m. This was the Tuesday night. I still have almost three hours left to go. And uh, I can't see very much because I got my reading glasses on. I've been doing a lot of reading this morning. Or the, this shift. Um, I've read about 130 pages tonight since 6.30 and I have had a grand total of six fares. I'm at uh, $72. I have an $80 lease. It has been deathly slow out here tonight. It has just been terrible it's like it's like pulling teeth with roots that are three feet long it's just and then when I finally do get a fair, a fair it's a short one or one that's shorter than one that I would like to have it's just quite a bit of torture tonight um, 
I have not had such a desolate feeling um, in a long time. I mean, usually there's hope, but tonight there's just no... Nothing's moving anywhere. We're down to 14 cars on the road out of a fleet of 45. And still nothing's moving. We're still not getting any calls. Um, it's as if Uber is already here and taking all our business away. Yeah, I know February is slow. It is the time of year where people have received their bills for... Um, Christmas and have have paid as much as they can on their credit cards. And it's just really quiet. Now, I would have given up if I'd had my lease on already, but I don't have my lease and I will have to buy a bit of fuel. Not like I've gone very far. I've gone 51.8 kilometers. Um, if I go just a hundred kilometers, that's a slow night. But I still have two and a half hours to go. Uh, my fuel bill probably won't be more than about five dollars at this rate. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about. It's just, just discouraging. This whole thing has been discouraging. I just need to run to the airport um, and I don't think my chances of getting one are all that good. I don't think my chances of getting anything are very good because this time yesterday I was sitting and I had been sitting since 12.30 and I sat until 4 and then I got a $6 fare. And then at the end of my night, you know, it was like 10 minutes to 6 and I thought, okay, that's it, I'll pull the plug. Um, and I went and fueled up and I had had like one trip since since uh, 1230 in the morning and so I fueled up and I went and parked it and just as I was parking it I was being sent on a call but it was too late because it was already after 6 and the day shift driver could have showed up at any time so Am I still up? Am I still in existence? Yeah. I'm still in existence. Oh, I really hope this week improves because it's, it's sucking right now. Yours has got to be better than mine. It just has to be. Believe it or not, here I am at the airport and I just, I was sitting there in the pits of despair just after recording that last little segment. And I was sitting there going, you know, I gotta have, a, I gotta have an airporter. I gotta go long. I gotta go long. I gotta have an airport. I gotta, gotta, gotta. And I was sitting there. I had finished reading. I couldn't read anymore because my eyes were getting blurry and tired and I couldn't. Uh, I, I, there's nothing else I could do. I guess I could have gone into the other parking lot and watched some YouTube. In fact, that's what I think I'm going to do now. Uh, so, yeah. So I got this guy, this kid actually, who's going back up to the Northwest Territories. And he had a um, prepaid credit card. It was one of those prepaid credit cards where, you know, you put the money on the card and then you get to use it for whatever. And um, it was $49.55. So basically, I'm, uh, I'm about uh, $35 in the profit zone now, which is phenomenal considering where I was an hour ago um, lovely so I'm going to make some I'm, I'm actually starting to make some money now which is just grand now we got there and he wants to pay with his prepaid credit card 
but it doesn't work. Three times it was declined. Three times. So we tried it one more time after that. And uh, this last time, we did it for five dollars less, and it 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 worked. It actually authorized for five dollars less than the amount. And then he said he only had five. The reason we did that is because he said that he had five dollars left on his uh, Interac. So we put the five five dollars on the Interac and. 4455 on his prepaid credit card and he even checked with his phone to find out why the prepaid credit card wasn't working and uh, he said I got $57 in there it should work well you know a lot of these prepaid cards I had it happen to me a couple of weeks ago too where the customer wanted to give me $15 and it was 14 something on the meter and she wanted to give me $15 but it wouldn't it wouldn't authorize and we tried again you know a couple times to authorize it and wouldn't authorize now the reason why it wouldn't authorize she found out later because I had her a week later she found out that the company that issues these cards with these cards these uh, prepaid cards it, it adds a tip automatically when it's a service like if it's a restaurant or if it's a or if it's a taxi or any service industry where there are tips involved it will automatically add a tip on top of the amount so let's say you have $15 on there it will automatically add maybe a $10 tip so if you're punching in $49.55, it wants to punch in $59.55, and there's $57 on the card, it's too much, so it's declined. So see, what we did was we put just uh, $5 less on the card, and it worked. Uh, I think they, they do that with the prepaid cards to cover the cost of uh, processing uh, with uh, with mobile interact machines and stuff like that. So my night has been saved. Okay, I made a modest, very modest profit. But after the kind of night I had, I'm just thankful. I read about 140 pages in this book that I brought along. This one is uh, Michael Cobley, uh, The uh, Orphaned Worlds. And... Uh, it is the sequel to uh, Seeds of Earth. It's the second book of a trilogy. And uh, I find Michael Cobley's writing a little bit difficult to get into. It doesn't just grab you. And there's so much going on that I tend to gloss over a lot of what's going on. Uh, it's a kind of writing style that has a lot of, I don't know, I'm reading it, and when, while I'm reading it, my thoughts drift off to somewhere else. They have difficult spellings for, for people's names because they're all aliens. They have uh, just uh, strange uh, terminology for different things, so you're having to figure out what, what it's... And sometimes I just gloss over. If it doesn't make sense to me right away, I just gloss over it. And, uh, and keep reading. And uh, there was one section there where I was, I was really getting into it. And then uh, after a couple hours of reading, I got a call. So I went and did that call. So anyway, uh, oh my goodness, I was really down before this night, but now now only made $35 for myself, but I feel on top of the world. So we're heading back into town with an hour and 10 minutes left to work. I'll talk to you sooner. It's starting to rain out there. I uh, should have thought of maybe getting a shot of the uh, exterior like this uh, when we were 
out at the airport just to show you what kind of wacko stupid uh, roundabouts we got. Well, maybe if I get another airport run, I'll think of doing that. If I get another airport run soon, that is. Now we're just approaching. If you look down in the distance there, that's uh, this is the hill up above Victoria as you're coming in. And uh, from this hill you can sort of see a good part of Victoria as you're going along. You can also see the rain on the windshield as we go underneath the street lights. So, uh, yeah, entering Victoria, we're in Saanich right now. I think I'm going to concentrate on driving right now instead of uh, pointing this camera out the window. Well, here we are at the airport again. That's twice. Check out the flowers. That's two runs to the airport on, on a morning that I thought was going to be hell. Uh, it's four minutes after, look at these cabs, they're all waiting in line for flights coming in. I don't believe there are going to be any flights coming in for at least a couple hours, if not more than that. So now you're going to see the wacko roundabouts. This is especially for you, Monica, if you're watching. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, Bullshit Central. Uh, look at all those car park in there, car park. Okay, here we go. Now uh, we're just leaving the terminal. Just leaving the terminal. For the second time this morning, Victoria International Airport, I made a killing now. I, I, I'm, I'm up about, uh, oh, about $100, uh, which is just where I want to be. There's this one roundabout right here, the one going around. Okay, so we've done three quarters of a turn there, uh, or three quarters of a, three, a, a 270, uh, rather than a 360, a 270. Okay, so now we go down, we go through the chicanes here, and then we go down the straightaway. Yeah, 6.05 in the morning. Well, the day shift guy brought the car to me uh, at 6.30 last night. So if I'm at 6.30 this morning, uh, that should be uh, just about right, wouldn't you say? And since it's been raining, the uh, road is dirty and the road is wet and so if the car gets dirty in the rainy conditions well too bad he didn't wash it for me so I don't think I should wash it for him maybe he's even watching this <laughs> now here we go a roundabout for a place where there's no traffic we gotta go through this it used to be that there was just two stop signs, and that was the stop signs on the cross street. And that was fine, and that was good, and that worked so well, but they had to put that roundabout in there just to slow everything down. When we used to be able to just drive straight through, and the cross traffic would just uh, stop. Now, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there is a road sign, and it... it there's the street sign. I, I'm trying to figure that one out. Okay, there's more. Up a, over overhead, there's a couple of signs that if you're driving like here, you can't figure out what the hell it's saying. Now let's see if I get this right. Okay, here we go. And it's blinking and winking at me. But here, I'm going to take the racer's line through this thing here. I'm just going to take the racer's line and say to hell with hell with the, uh, the curvy lines and, and wacko things and uh, now we've done it I could have gone around it properly but I took the racers line and just made it through there and uh, there we go we have just left the airport and we're back on the highway so I'll talk to you uh, eventually uh, after the next shift or the shift after that do you know how nice it is to get home? How nice it is to get home and not have to do anything in the morning? 
a lot of mornings I have to go and uh, have my back stretched or my neck stretched over at the chiropractors for like 7 or 7.30 in the morning or to have an adjustment on my back or to work out in the gym and uh, today I didn't have to do any of that so I came home and I had something to eat and now I'm just pouring myself a little dram I'm gonna enjoy this to the fullest because I don't have to be anywhere or do anything now it is about ten and a half hours before I have to touch a taxi again so in that time I may watch a movie I'm gonna sleep well and then I'm gonna go back to work now I kinda got carried away with myself about that uh, that uh, Tuesday night because it was just so dead and then it ended up so well so I kinda chronicled it uh, made a video or shot the video that you just saw and then I had a Wednesday night and the Wednesday night was really it was nothing special either um, I had some long waits in between calls in the morning hours I had a two-hour wait I think I made about fifty dollars for myself I mean that's better than having to pay to be out there but the whole week if not for those two airporters the whole week would be a real bust um, I counted the money that I'd made already this week and it's like uh, not really all that much well That's okay. I'm drinking the uh, the less expensive uh, type of scotch. <laughs> I can't afford to open a big one today, or even to sip from a big one that's been opened already. In fact, all the bottles I have have been opened. Right. Okay. I've reviewed everything I believe up to now. But I digress. It. Uh, the Thursday night, uh, this was a Wednesday night. So I think I'm going to end uh, Taxi Vlog 390 right about here. And uh, if there's anything memorable about the Thursday and Friday nights, well, we'll make a Taxi Vlog 391 out of that. Well, at this point, uh, I should be saying something like, I hope yours is better than mine. And, uh, well... How can you get any better than just sitting here and nosing and sipping a drum? <laughs>